What's up beauties? Today I'm going to show you my tricks to get a polished look in under 15 minutes. How to look like you put a lot of effort in when you didn't really have a lot of time to do that. And I'm going to start with doing my hair with my new Diwali um, Ionic Styling Brush. So you'll see it gives a soft wave similar to the Dyson Airwrap. It's not like a super curly curl um, like you'd get with a curling iron or even a straightener. It's more just like soft and the impression of it as opposed to like a really defined curl. So the way you do it is very similar to the way you would curl your hair with a straightener. You put it on, turn the brush over, and then pull. And you can see it's just a very soft bend in the hair. Also similar to a straightener, it really depends how slow or fast you pull it or what kind of curl you're going to get. So the slower you pull, the longer your hair has a chance to be on the heat, so the curlier it would be. And then the faster you pull, the more relaxed the curl would be because it has less heat exposure. So that's the finished product with the hair. It's a lot more natural looking curls. Kind of more like what you get with a blowout, like a round brush blowout, but also more body than like a, if I'd use my straightener. And then the other thing I really like about this little guy is that when I'm all done that, like if I feel like I still look frizzy on top, the nice thing because it's a brush is I can just like brush through and smooth out just the top without messing with the curls so just pull it out before it gets to the really curly part so if you guys are interested in buying one of these Diwali did give me a code I'll link their website down below in the description box and if you use my code which is just Katie then you get 70% off of this so that hair total took me about six minutes so um, I've so far used six of my 15 minute budget I allotted myself. So for the next nine minutes I would do like as little as possible to make the most impact with my makeup. Hey Siri, set a timer for nine minutes. Your timer is set for nine minutes. Spent 15 seconds looking for the foundation I wanted. Which right now my current favorite is the Smashbox Studio Skin. Oh I'm a wreck today. Thing you can do is if you're short on time like I am, I've already used a minute and 45 seconds, is if you have a good foundation, this one's really full coverage, if you have a good full coverage foundation, you can skip concealer and just make sure you work your foundation into the spots where you'd usually put it. Now I'm setting, I'm using my current favorite which is the Fenty setting powder and butter. Anytime you do full coverage foundation, it's really essential to do some bronzing or highlighting and contouring just so you don't look one dimensional. So because I'm on a time constraint, I won't be using eyeshadow, so anytime that's the case, anytime that's the case, I'll take my palette that I'm using for highlighting and contouring, and I'll do a quick eye look with that. So take a contour color across the lid, and into the crease, and under. Take three minutes. And then just take a little bit of the highlighting color and put that on my brow bone. Next I'm going to take a little bit of this blush from this Cover FX kit. And dab a bit on my lids as well. Warm it up. And then I'm going to take 
the highlighter from this palette as well. Pop it on. Two minutes. Now I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Gel. Just brushing my brows up to give them some fullness. And then I'm taking the CoverGirl Total Tease Mascara. Have a minute 30 left. Then I'll take Jeffree Star Cosmetics Calabasas. Girl Beauty. I'll see you guys on the next one.